changes greater than or equal to 5% are generally considered significant. So I'm thrilled, my doctor's thrilled, and I will continue on this journey. Hello, my name is Vicki and I live in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here to tell you my my Algical journey. It began 12 years ago when I had my initial routine screening for bone density and learned that my scores were, were, were low. And my doctor at that time started talking to me about the traditional treatments and she she also told me the downsides of them, which caused me to research them further and to make a decision that I did not want to take those medications if I didn't have to. So I looked around for alternatives. Over the years, I've taken various supplements, but my scores continued to decline over the, the next 10 years. So it was a joy to discover AlgaCal. It came out of research. I actually think the first time that I saw it was on Instagram, which is kind of interesting. So then I got on their website and thought, I have been looking for 10 years for something like this. So I started taking it. I also finally decided to start some resistance work, which exercise has been part of my life always. But honestly, the resistance work, I was resisting. So with those two interventions, I've had real success. I've taken AlgaCal now for two years and my DEXA scores in a one year period from June of 2021 to June of 2022 showed a T-score improvement on my spine from negative 2.6 to negative 2.0. That is an 8% positive change in my bone density of my spine. And I quote great because it's in capital letters. <laughs> Changes greater than or equal to 5% are generally considered significant. So I'm thrilled, my doctor's thrilled, and I will continue on this journey. I wanted to mention that there are two things that I had to change my mind about in order to get where I am now. And that is, initially I, I think was a little resistant to thinking that I really needed to have a whole lot of intervention because I raised Holstein dairy cows and for some reason thought that maybe I was immune to <laughs> immune to <laughs> having problems with bone density when I have a calcium rich diet and you know as a youngster growing up I made oral reports about the value of calcium for your body and your bones <laughs> But anyway, there's a lot to learn about how calcium is absorbed as you age. So that I had to change my mind about. And the other thing I had to change my mind about was that it wasn't enough to just continue to do the cardio work that I have enjoyed with exercise. I need to do um, some resistance training, which I frankly don't enjoy quite as much. And I'm not talking about bench pressing 200, 300 pounds. In fact, my workout yesterday, I took the pin out of the pile of weights and let it dangle because that's where I'm at. But I'm making great improvements. We all are at a different place in our journey. And I've just accepted that that is a part of what my body was telling me I need. So I, I just share with you my my success story you know hope that each one of you find a path that works for you thank you